Once upon a time, in a small village near a big castle, there lived a poor little orphan girl named Cinderella. Cinderella lived with her two mean stepsisters and her mean stepmother. Okay, baby cakes. I'm your mean stepmother for this story, and you better believe it. You don't look convinced. Stand at attention when I'm talking to you. All right, let's get cracking. I want the windows washed. I want the dishes washed. Oh. I want the floors scrubbed. But most of all, I want my two beautiful daughters made ready for the ball. Yuck. Well, semi-cute daughters? Well, how about somewhat less than repulsive daughters? Would you buy that? Well, what are you waiting for? An early snow? Get moving! <laughs> Now, my two sweet poopsy cums, it's time to get ready for the ball. <laughs> now, listen, you freeloading cat. You're making a bigger mess than before. Hmm. I don't remember no dumb cat in this fairy tale. Now, my precious darling, are you ready yet? No, because Cinderella is not helping enough. Well, if some people can't help out around here, well then, some people wouldn't be able to go to the ball. Right, girls? Yes, Mother. <laughs> Cinderella! Cinderella, help me with my powdered wig. Cinderella, I need help with my lipstick. And hurry up. Cinderella! I need help with my shoes. Cinderella, I need my corset tightened. We're going to the ball without you pets. Come, my two enchantresses. That was really mean of that mean stepmother. I mean, really. And those two mean sisters, if you know what I mean. What this story needs now is a fairy godmother to lighten things up, if you get my meaning. Oh, here I am, your fairy godmother. I think I'm your fairy godmother. Oh, yes, of course I am. Nobody else looks like a fairy godmother around here. So it must be me. See, I have the regulation wand with that sparkly stuff coming out of it. Well, I'm sure I'm a fairy godmother. Oh, yes, look. Wings. Of course, I've got to be a fairy godmother, don't I? I'll prove it to you. <laughs> I'll do a little magic. I'll change that mirror on the wall into a clear blue lake. Oh, here I am, your fairy chicken. Oh, why, that's not right. Oh, what am I again? You're our fairy godmother. Oh, of course. How silly of me. I'm your fairy godmother. And you have to get ready for the ball. First, you're going to need a team of white horses to pull your carriage. That doesn't seem right. I know a pumpkin has something to do with this story. Oh, well, anyway, we still need a carriage. <laughs> Oh, now let's see. Uh, maybe the dress goes on the pumpkin. That's it. The dress goes on the pumpkin. Wow. Dynamite. Oh, hello again, darling. <laughs> now we need glass slippers. Oh, oh my goodness. It's 
Chicken Rella. No, that is definitely not the name of this story. Oh, and this will never do, dearie. <laughs> Oh, why don't you go just as you are, and now go as the horse and carriage? To the ball! Listen, Prince, you have got to get married soon. Do you know what the taxes are on an unmarried prince? You're breaking the kingdom. I know, I know. Oh, your friendship. I'd like you to meet my two lovely daughters. You'll not find two more gorgeous girls in all your kingdom. Right, girls? Right. Yuck. Show the nice princey how well you dance. <laughs> No attention to that silly creature, Princey. This is the daughter who can trip the light fantastic. <laughs> Say, who are you? I'm Chickenrella. Uh, I mean, Cinderella. We both know how the story is supposed to end, so why don't you just put on and let's beat it. No! Now that's not fair! This fairy tale always ends the same way, and we don't like it. We spent all that time getting ready for the ball. And what for? What for? We never get the prince! <laughs> 